Direct feed systems are simple, inexpensive and easy to plumb in. Ideal for a cost effective rainwater harvesting system. But what happens when the rainwater runs out? Bearing in mind rainwater is classed as non-possible water, you simply cannot tap maize water into the system as it would contravene water regulations. To solve this issue, we've designed the backup in a box. A simple, reliable, automatic maize top-up unit which will detect when the water in the underground tank has reached its lowest level. It will then introduce a few inches of maize water directly into the underground tank so the pump can carry on pumping to your appliances. So, how does it all work? Well, there are two versions. We have the shallow dig and the deep dig version. The shallow dig version uses a float sensor. And quite simply, when the water level drops to its low level in the underground tank, it opens up a solenoid valve in your mains back up in a box. The float sensor itself is pre-calibrated for 45 minutes. Now this equates to about 150 litres of water, which is allowed directly from a backup in a box to the underground tank. Enough so that you can carry on using it for your appliances. In the hope that it's rained before the next demand. For deeper dig tanks, we use a traditional float switch, like this. And this quite simply says, yes, we've got water. No, we haven't got water. If it says we haven't got water, it will open up the solenoid valve attached to the backup in the box, which will allow water directly into the underground tank, enough to move this float switch up a few inches. When it gets to the upper position, it will automatically shut the solenoid valve, stopping maize water entering the underground tank. The maize backup in a box has been designed to comply fully with all the water regulations. It has unsurpassed reliability, and more importantly, it gets a big thumbs up from the installers as a simple to install system. If you require any more information, please visit our website, www.rainwaterharvesting.co.uk. Or if you have any questions, tweet us, email us, or why not just telephone us? Thank you.